What is going on, guys? Seely here, and today, being a Cubs fan is kind of good. Daniel Murphy has gone traded to the Chicago Cubs. As a Cubs fan, this is great to see. Because we all know what happened a few years ago with Daniel Murphy. A ball and a strike. That ball's well hit to right. Did he get all of this one? Yes, he did. That's in the air to right. That's pretty deep. That ball is gone. Every zone. And this ball is drilled to right center field. It is deep. Man alive, Daniel Murphy. 1-1. One, one. In the air. Deep right center field. That ball is gone. Daniel Murphy. And it's good to have Murphy on the team. He got traded for a player to be named later or cash and an infielder named Andrew Mona Monasterio, uh, who isn't really much of a haul for the nationals. Cubs are only getting him for August, September and the playoff run. So they didn't have to give up much. What Daniel Murphy brings to the table. He has a 300 average on the year. That is amazing. He's going to fit in just fine with that bat. Also, before we get into it, this is a Kobe shirt. Not, not a Lakers fan. I, I just like Kobe, so I apologize for the shirt and the video. The only person on the Cubs roster right now with a 300 average or higher is Ben Zobrist. He's only played in 102 games, 378 at bats or played appearances on the year, but everyone else is doing just all right. Daniel Murphy can play second base. He could play first base for you. He could play third base. Third base, I really would not want Daniel Murphy playing there. But if he asked you for maybe a game or so, someone needs some rest, I would toss him there. But there should be no way he would be forced to play there with having Baez, Ian Happ, who is not the best at third. David Bodie that can move to third. I, I don't see him moving anywhere besides second or first base when Rizzo needs some rest. Addison Russell has really struggled this year. He started off the first month, month and a half, maybe at like 290-ish average. And he's all the way down to 260 on the year. Not looking hot. The past few games, he's looked kind of lost up at the plate. And bringing on Daniel Murphy and with KB being out of the lineup, uh, we should have Daniel Murphy at second, Baez at short, David Bodie at third base. That would be the dream lineup infield as of now with Rizzo at first. Baez could be moved anywhere around the infield. He's having a stellar year. Uh, Albert Almora is playing hot. Ian Happ is struggling. He does not seem to do anything productive in the lineup. Whenever he does do stuff, it does seem like the game's already over. But Ben Zobris is playing pretty well. Tommy Lestella, uh, he, he's been doing pretty decent. He could play second, third. Not as good as Daniel Murphy, but similar style in a sense. It's going to be interesting who they move down to the minor leagues. They do have to move someone. And the Cubs have said that it's going to be someone with minor league options. I would not think Bodie would get moved down. Really hope he won it. Because he's batting like 290 right now, playing very well in the spot of Chris Bryant. But maybe he does for the next couple weeks until uh, September, when all the September, the 40 man roster gets called up. Bodie would be back on the roster. But whoever does move down would only be for a few weeks. I just hope it is not Bodie. I'm currently unsure of who else has minor league options on the team. But Daniel Murphy, man. I am excited for this move. Get him for the rest of the year. In the playoffs, Daniel Murphy has a career 323 batting average. Last year, he didn't do so hot, but in 2016, he did really well. And in 2015, he did really well up until the World Series. But he's going to be surrounded by some great players in the Chicago Cubs lineup. Another lefty bat brought to the team. Might be that piece. Cubs have done really well 
at the trade deadline or have made really good trades this year, acquiring Cole Hamels, getting Brandon Kinsler, Daniel Murphy now. I'm excited for the rest of the year as a Cubs fan. They're currently number one in the National League, and this only helps them more. Let me know your thoughts on this Daniel Murphy trade down below. I'd like to hear about them, maybe have a conversation with you. But this is going to be it. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe down below this Healy, and I am out. Peace.